Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be showing you how to wrap an iron post to make it look like a cedar post. So keep watching. We thought as like a temporary fix that we could wrap them in wood and it turned out really really great and it was easy and total for all of the wood it was like 40 or 50 bucks so my husband's gonna show you today how to do this um, our poles were like obviously poles they were cylinders we couldn't find a lot of YouTube videos that did that um, that showed how to wrap cylinder poles um, so I hope that this helps you if you're trying to do something like this on your own because it's totally easy and worth it well I think it's easy I didn't do it but my husband makes it look easy so keep watching if you want to see more so since we were about to run off the carport he chose to use four common boards two of them are two by sixes and then the two on the inside are one by fives okay so before he cut he measured from the top here all the way down to the bottom okay so the first board's cut and it needs to be snug we you know have a difficulty here because there's like a gap but if you just had like a regular just ceiling you were working with you wouldn't have to worry about that but ours is all different lengths grab a level and all he's doing is making sure that it's level from top to bottom and not like at an angle or anything So that's kind of been the problem with the other one too. Some of the boards are warped and so it doesn't line up perfectly. So we're gonna have to camouflage it with some wood filler um, sanding before we stain. Lots of hammering to get this to fit. This one's in. Check and see if it's level again, all the way up. And are you gonna do, which board are you gonna do next? Um, the one by five or the two by six? The other side, one by five. Okay, so now he's gonna do the other one by five. gonna start by nailing up here and then put a lot of pressure down here and nail at the bottom where that gap is and it should be able to hold it push hard up against here okay I'm just pushing Thank you. 
it done? It's done. It's done. So hopefully you don't have to do this with like an uneven ceiling. It would make it a lot easier for you, but if you do, it's possible. So this is the second day. Yesterday, Trey took a, what was it, like a sanding? Electric sander. And sanded all the sides. And we were gonna go with wood filler but what did you say? You saw that it's not good outside over time? Yeah, you could use a, uh, what was it called? Epoxy? Was yeah, kind of like a wood epoxy, like plastic wood. Um, and we may end up doing that, I don't know. If, it if doesn't really even look bad though. If you want to hide the cracks, you could use that. Um, but hopefully we'll get rid of most of the crack with the nails. Yeah. They'll at least be a little bit more sturdy. Okay, so he went and bought this huge clamp to help um, yeah. hold it in. This would have been great to have originally yeah. instead of me like putting pressure. Mm -hmm. But um, anyways, what nails did you buy? Uh, these are three inch nails. You probably could have gone with a little, so like two and three fours, but I just wanted to be safe. Okay, so basically we're just doing this to make sure it's really secure. So we're taping off the bottom to prevent any staining, but I'm sure a little will happen. We're going with um, the same color we used on our shutters over there. Okay, so this is the clear gloss we're gonna put on oil-based um, polyurethane for exterior. I guess we're gonna just do one coat, right? Make sure that you just use a cheap brush that you can throw away because it's gonna be a pain to try to wash this out. All right guys, and this is the final product of the pole um it looks way better we just have to remove the tape all right guys thanks so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed and that this was helpful stay tuned for our next video we're going to be wrapping the wrought iron beams on our front porch my husband is currently over there um measuring right now to see what he needs to buy see you right there um, at the store to make that happen. So stay tuned. That'll be our next video. Bye everybody.